Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Let's finish out this section by taking a look at the last option we have when it comes to linking to other slides. Now, if we jump back up to the insert ribbon in the links group, we have actions, links and zoom. So we know what actions does. We've seen an example of slide zoom. The final option in here is link. And this is very much like your traditional hyperlinking. So if you've used hyperlinks in Word previously, it pretty much works the same in PowerPoint. And you can see here there is a keyboard shortcut for adding a hyperlink quickly of Control K. So let's take a look at an example of a hyperlink. Now there are a few different types of hyperlink that you can add. You could add a hyperlink to another slide in the presentation. You could hyperlink to another presentation entirely. You could hyperlink to an external website, or you could even hyperlink to an email address. Now, currently the link button is inactive because I don't have anything selected. As soon as I select something, whether it's a piece of text or an image or an icon, you're going to see that this button becomes active. Now, I currently have the word Thailand selected. If I click on link, we can see all of the different things that we can hyperlink to. So I could choose to link to an existing file or web page. And this will allow you to link to a file that you have stored off on your C drive or somewhere like that. And you can see here in the menu, this is the last folder I was in, and it's showing me all of the PowerPoint presentations and images within this folder. So I could choose to link to any of these. If I want to link to another slide, I can choose place in this document, and it's going to show me all of the different slides, and I can insert a link that way. Or alternatively, I could link to an email address in here. And that means that when they click on this link, it's going to open up an email, in your default email application addressed to whoever you've specified in here with the specified subject line. We can also link to external websites from here as well. So you'll find this on existing file or web page. You can simply type in the web address just here. So if I wanted to link to, and for argument's sake, I'm just going to link to Google. Let's go www.google.com. Obviously you can type anything you like into here, click on OK, and now Thailand is showing as a hyperlink. And if I want to go to Google, I can simply hold down control and click and it's going to open up a web browser. Now, if I select Thailand again and right click my mouse, I can edit that link. It's going to take me straight back into that edit hyperlink dialog box and I can make any changes that I need to. One thing that's quite useful to add when you're working with things like web pages is a screen tip. Now notice in the top right hand corner, we have a little button, let's click it, and you can provide text which is going to appear as the user or your customer hovers over this hyperlink. So I might want to say click to go to Google, something like that. Click on OK and OK again, and when we hover over, you can see that comes up in that little screen tip area. So just be aware of that. Now, I don't want this to link to Google. Let's right click and choose to remove the link. Now, something that I might want to add on to here is maybe an icon which they can click on, which is going to link them back to the Our Destinations page. So let's insert an icon and I'm going to type in the keyword. Let's just say travel. And I'm just going to choose this one here of these palm trees. Let's insert that. I'm going to drag it down to the corner and I could now make this a link which takes us back to the Our Destinations slide. So all we need to do here is click on the icon. We can right click and go to hyperlink or alternatively we can jump up to insert and go into link. So now I could say place in this document and I can choose the slide I want to link to. So if I want to go back to Our Destinations, that is slide number eight. I can add a screen tip, destinations, click on OK. So now if I run this presentation, 
Notice that when I hover my mouse over this icon, I get the screen tip. My cursor's also changed to a hand icon, which shows me that this is a link. And when I click it, it's gonna jump me to that slide. So a really nice, easy way to jump around your presentation. What about if instead of linking to another slide or a website, I want to link to a document? So maybe I want to link to a PDF file that contains all of the itineraries for the Asia region. Well, this is pretty straightforward as well. Now I'm going to delete out this icon. I don't really want that to be there. And I'm going to add a shape. And let's just add a rounded rectangle. I'm gonna draw it down here and I'm going to add some text which just says itineraries. Let's drag this down to the corner and let's just do a little bit of formatting here. I want to do a shape fill. Let's use our eyedropper and pick up this green color and let's add a shape outline of a dark green. So now I have this shape. I'm going to select it let's go to insert and we're going to add a hyperlink but this time we're going to choose to hyperlink to a pdf file so all you would need to do here is navigate to the folder where you have your pdf file stored and you've got a little browse for file button just here which will open up file explorer and you can search for your document from there now I know mine is in section 8, course files. There it is, itinerary.pdf. Let's add a screen tip and click on OK and OK again. So now if we run this slideshow and click on itineraries, it's going to open the PDF file that I created. And the final thing that you can hyperlink to is an email address. So maybe in amongst this text, I want it to say contact. I'm just going to put my name in there for more details. And I want to make my name a link. So we're going to select the text up to link. And this time we're going to go for email address. So just type in the email address of the person you want this to go to. And if you want to have a default subject, then you can add that in here as well. So maybe my default subject is inquiry. I can add a screen tip, click to send email, click on OK and OK again. And that now becomes a link. So if we run the slideshow this time and click on my name, it's going to open up an email in my default email application with the criteria that I've specified. So it's going to me and the subject line is inquiry. So that is how you can use hyperlinks in your PowerPoint presentations. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.